everybody and welcome back to another training video with myself and the wonderful Mrs. G. Hi. So we are doing level three forms review here. Uh, this is going to follow the same structure as the level two and the level one that we released. But if you haven't done those ones, basically what we're doing here is we are going to go through all three of our level three forms and we are going to do them twice. First time through each form will be just a step-by-step, -step, reminding of details, refreshing our memory on exactly how the form works, and then we'll do it one time in testing speed. So, getting right into it, we are starting off with TGA. So, step-by-step, step. oh, and again, Miss G will be doing it traditionally, uh, facing the same way that we would if we were here in the karate school, so she'll be facing the flag wall, going through the form, I will be doing it from a side view so that that way between her and myself, you'll be able to see all of the important details. Um, you know, no matter what part of the form we're in, you'll have two different angles to see exactly what's going on. So here we go. All right. And again, the T-gate position here uh, is the same as Wanyo and Chung Gun. I did explain this in the T-gay video, or sorry, the Chung Gun portion of the level two video. Uh, but the hand structures, this is actually an interesting hand position that you will find in almost every single martial art that exists. Uh, and it is a symbol, a, a symbol representing our body and our minds working together as one. So you see this a lot in Kung Fu styles. This is in fact how a lot of styles will bow. Um, by using this position, sometimes you'll see it with the hand up uh, and the fist in the palm. Other times, like in our style, you'll see the fingers folded over. But one of the biggest mistakes that we see is people just kind of grotesquely grabbing their fist. And that is not what it's supposed to be. That's gross. So, fist, palm, almost like you're punching yourself in the palm. And we want to make sure the palm is up high enough that when we fold those fingers over, we can keep kind of a nice straight line on the fingers. And again, without my fist in there, this is kind of what the left hand should look like. And then my right hand just fits right into that position nicely. So it still has good lines, looks nice while doing it. Not the grotesque, grotesque grabbing. Don't be gross. That's right. <laughs> Here we go. TJ, everybody. Facing forwards and attention. Bow, courtesy. And prepare for TGA. All right, first move. Uh, by the way, we will be calling chambers and moves as we do this. So first move, we are gonna chamber. chamber. We step out side block with a loud ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Shift the stance and spear. Feet. From there, we're gonna bring those feet together and rip. rip. Chamber. chamber, side block, side block. Spear. spear, rip. Chamber, chamber, X block, X block, chamber, chamber, double punch, double punch, aim, aim, kick, punch, 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 set. And then we call this the mama stance. That's why. Coming down just like that. And from here, we do our aim, aim, and step through mountain, mountain, aim, aim. Make sure when we do this aim, we go from a horse stance. We're just gonna turn so that we're more in a back stance and then aim, and then we come back around mountain, mountain, horse stance. Horse stance. From there, we're gonna bring our feet together, knuckles together. Knuckles. We're gonna step out back stance, stance. reinforce block, but not like a normal reinforce block where our, our one hand is higher than the other, but this is what we call a middle, of, uh, middle reinforce block where both arms are flat to the ground. Then we shift our stance, diamond. diamond. Nice lot down with our knee, we give a good aya. Aya. Remember, feet together on this. Chamber the hands up as we look behind us. Stepping out, pseudo block. Pseudo. And then we do our kick and aim spear. So we start out in our back stance, we finish in a front stance. So I do my kick, kick. aim, spear. spear. Again, back hand aims, front hand does the spear. Step forward, pseudo, pseudo. and Kick, aim, spear. Kick, aim, spear. We turn this hand, drop this hand. Other hand comes across, and we step back. Surfer. Surfer. Nice big, I call it monkey jump. So we're gonna monkey jump, land in an X block with another loud yell, 
and we jump. Yeah. From there, step out, reinforced block. Reinforced. This is a normal reinforced block. And then from there, we're going to spin around, inverted low pseudo. Inverted low. And then we're going to scoop. Scoop. We shuffle over, inverted pseudo. Inverted pseudo. And we shift, scoop, shift, scoop, shift, scoop. Now we're aiming back towards the front, same wall we started at, and we pull back. Ah yeah! And back to perfect. All right, testing speed style. And attention, back. Prepare for T-Gate. T-Gate, All right, here we go. And begin. into Haram. So this is uh, the second form. So let's see. Let's step, let's step. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we start out with attention. Yeah. We bow courtesy. And then prepare for Haram. And our right hand is out in front of our belt knot. Left hand is just sitting on top. And again, we're not going all the way in line but just kind of natural arm position here. So, first move, what we're gonna do is our aim. So the way I like to think about this is I lift my right arm to aim, and that kind of throws my left hand back into this position. So it's just like I'm chambering for a punch, but what I'm gonna do is open my hand and rotate my fingers so they're pointing up, and that's how you know you're in the right position. From there, we're gonna step into our horse stance, and we're gonna pull this across. So what I'm doing is this arm is throwing an elbow behind while this arm is pushing across and it pushes past my, where my hand is. I don't want to stop it too short, but all the way through. And that is the first yell. So here we go, first move, lifting the hand up, say A. Hey. Hey. Step out, press, give a loud ah yeah. Hey. And from there we punch up. Now we do what I what we call the one yoke part. So we chamber, chamber. we look over our right shoulder, we're going to shift to a back stance, we go uh, square, block. square block. Now, one yo, we open this hand to do a chop. In uh, Hogan, we keep the arms, the hands closed the whole time. So I do a hammer fist. fist. Then I do an aim, and my hand is still closed. And then we punch. punch. Nice good fixed stance, just like we do in one yo. From there, I bring my, my feet back together. My palm is going to swoop down up to my ear. And then it's going to slap out. Yeah. From there, I'm going to turn my body as I point my hand, turn it palm down. So I turn, and then I step forward. Left foot, pop. Chambers, we look to the front. And we turn, down block. Aim. Step forward, punch. Turn my fist up, and I reach out and grab my fist. From there, I'm going to turn my body as I step my left foot up. Leaving my arms out, we're not pulling to a teacup like we normally do, but my arms stay out just in the same position they started. From there, we do our side kick. Then we land chop. We step forward, punch. Step forward, punch. From here, we turn around. Pseudo block. We step forward, spear finger. Now, this is the first time in a form where we don't take a long turn. So from here, I'm just going to turn over the left shoulder and pseudo. We go back leg round, round. back leg round, 
land pseudo. From here, we get to turn down block. We aim, and then again, we explain this in the Chungun video, but the way I transition from a front stance to a back stance is first I turn my back foot, and then my front foot is just gonna step over to get into that back stance position. Now, as I do that, so I aim, and then I move the foot over, short punch. From there, I'm gonna step all the way through, and this arm is just gonna keep pushing out to an aim. So I step through aim, and then I short punch. Then I step through aim, and then I short punch. From there, I'm gonna shift to a front stance, X block low. I'm gonna turn all the way around, going this way around, okay? I spin, bringing the X block up above my head, and then I'm gonna pull this arm, comes back, the hand stays closed. So it's just like I'm chambering for a punch. This hand is gonna come back like, uh, like I'm doing a pseudo block here, right? So this hand is closed, this hand is open on my solar plex, so we pull with a loud yell, ah yeah, ah yeah. Stepping our foot back again, we do what we call our windshield wiper block. So I start out with my right hand on top, and I'm going to wipe my hands. So now the left is on top, and basically I'm doing like a side block and a down block and then I switch it the other way, block again. Now, finish it up with a couple of pseudos. Turn, pseudo, then shuffle to the other side, pseudo, loud yell, and ay -ya! And that's it. All right, here we go. Testing speed, going all the way through, putting all the yells in, good speed, good freeze, make it look awesome. And here we go, ready? Tension, back. Prepare for Horon. Horon, sir. And go. And our final form for our level three video here. So doing Chung Mu. First up, step by step. And we start out, tension, hip, back. Prepare for Chung Mu. Chung Mu, sir. All right, first four moves are all open hand. So we start out. And we chamber. chamber. Nice good X chamber. Right hand on top. Both hands in our nice good chopping position. Remember, tuck those thumbs. And we step it out. And Aya! Aya! we step forward. High block chop. We turn pseudo. pseudo. We aim. Step forward. Spear. Spear. We chamber. Pseudo. pseudo. Bring our right foot to our left leg. Pull that teeth up. We go side kick, side kick. land pseudo, pseudo, and then two steps, run jump side, land in the chop loud yell, and go. From there we turn around back stance, down block, down block. we shift diamond. diamond, we do a good knee, feet together, and I'm chambering my hand just like I'm doing a punch with a nice open hand. The other hand is just kind of out in front of the chest. I'm going to turn all the way around, sneaky ridge. We go back leg round, reverse side, and then land in a close hand pseudo the other direction. So we go back leg round, reverse side, land close hand pseudo. Now here we do our reach out round kick and pull it back. One of the sneakiest and hardest moves of the form. We do it, and this is G just did a good demo, right? We reach out and then bring it back as we stack the hands. We step out and stick block. Stick block. Nice good 360 jump, land pseudo aya. 
and jump. Oh, yeah. Step forwards, groin strike, pull back surfer block, step through spear finger. From there we switch which hands on top and we chamber. Now we spin all the way around, back fist, hook our foot behind our leg, inner block, and then land into a back stance, back fist. back fist. We don't do a set on this, we just turn and look behind us, and we're going right into our back leg side. Ooh. So we go back leg side, back leg side, land X block to the opposite direction. From there, step forward, press, and then we chamber, right hand on top. We just do our spin around, high block, punch, aya. And back to prepare. All right. Testing speed. All right, here we go, everybody. And starting out. And attention. Bow, courtesy. And prepare for chung moves. And go! Yeah. And back to the pair. And back. 